Hello everybody and welcome to my channel today. Uh, what we're going to do is install some uh, auxiliary headlights on the front of my Riker. It's a 2019 Riker Rally and we're going to put those on to give me uh, so that I'm seeing better in traffic and also so that I can see better at night. I think I'm really going to like them. It was a birthday gift from my husband. Very, very nice gift. Um, so these are these lights are called beast i'm not sure about the the manufacturer but it says on the back that they're made by beast they are all aluminum as a lead light should be because they do conduct a lot of heat so that keeps it cooler and um we're gonna just put them on the front of the riker here today for you and give you a demonstration uh, I am going to have the assistance of my husband as uh, we're trying to make this video as informative as we can in the uh, least amount of time that we can so that, uh, you know, you can go ahead and watch it and pause it and play back and do all those things that you need to do if you're going to install something like this and, and need the hints and tips that we're going to show you today. Um, this will be my first video in a series that I'm planning to start on my YouTube channel, Rally to the North. I'm trying to figure out how to make a sub-channel though. I haven't got there yet. Um, I know I can put another channel in my favorites, but I, I'd really like to promote my new segment of Rally to the North on that page. I think I'm going to call it either Tech Talk with Care or Riker Talk with Care. I'm kind of leaning towards Riker Talk with Care. I kind of kind of says it all right there. So uh, that's what we're going to do and I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it's informative for you. Of course uh, if you have uh, ideas that might fit into this installation just leave them down in the comments or if you have questions uh, of course we'd be more than happy to answer your questions the best that we can. So I hope you're having a great day and I hope you enjoy the video. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, so there's the switch. We got the switch in. Um, behind that switch, uh, there is a rigid piece that's about an inch long. So we had to place that in an area where that wouldn't be affected. And then uh, the wires, of course, go through here, down through this menagerie here and we're continuing on down towards our power source okay so we rooted the wires the wire down here and then through here here it is we're going to attach it to this uh, harness where uh, brp put the main harness and then it'll come down under and then uh, We'll root it at the fuse box. So there's the rest of the wire coming down here. Again, we're going to plug into the headlight relay in the fuse box. And uh, this will uh, make sure that I don't lose battery power by the lights being left on. So when the headlights go out, the new lights will go out as well. This is great. Okay. Gorilla tape. <laughs> Comes in handy. Great stuff. So the wire is protected from all heat, all moving parts. It's secured. It's never going to move. And it should be good. So just a little fact here. This is OEM tape that uh, BRP has used to secure the harness. Um, about, well, over a year ago, we used um, this Gorilla Tape and we're putting the new wire under there as well. And it has stuck just way better than this flimsy stuff. Highly recommend it if you're doing a job like this. And uh, I think you can depend on it, it takes heat well. Um, not close to heat, but it does warm up in there and it's still doing its job. Okay, now we're zap tying the wire down. It is zap tied under here uh, to uh, one of the main harnesses, which is always convenient and goes under here. And then we're just zap tying here and here. 
it is the same place as we've uh, added other electronics and it's held up well and been out of the way of everything so that's good okay so the wire splits here he's just wrapping uh, the one that goes to the source to the fuse uh, box uh, to the headlight relay just wrapping that along another wire that heads in the same direction for some stability and then this wire here this is where we're going to uh, mount the headlight this wire here will go to that and then uh, we'll run another wire from that to the other light and it should all work yeah So we're using shrink to tie um, the headlight wire with the main cable and then back into the other end uh, into the uh, where the relay is. So uh, after we, he gets these wires in, we'll put some heat on that uh, connector and it'll shrink around it. It'll be uh, waterproof and uh, it'll be a good clean seal. I know. Okay. All secured here. Should work good. Hello, you. So there, the fuse is in. All heat shrunk on the wire going into the relay for headlight control. And um, she's putting the relay back in. The fuse box is back installed. Everything went well. So we've got a meter here to see if when we turn the headlights on. Just checking to make sure they go off when the headlights go off there is a timer in the relay to do that i don't know what it is 15 30 seconds but uh well drain the battery fast and holy shit don't want to leave those lights on there they go good these are the lights that are going on they are uh, leds they're more of a flood light so it'll give me light uh, directly in front of my Riker and to the sides, which is great. Um, it says they're made by Beast. Okay. <laughs> All right. Beast lights. <laughs> so I think they're going to look pretty good on the Riker, and I think they're going to serve me well. The mark's been made. Where What's we that? Want them. Oh. <laughs> uh, right here. And then uh, same on the other side. Originally, I wanted them here. So you can see that white mark over there. But this moves. And this is way more solid. This is way more solid. So. We're going to put them here. Put okay, so we're using a step drill, a step bit on the drill, which gives you the proper dimensions and a, a perfect fitting for the size of the bolt that's going through. There it is. All right. Perfect. Okay, bolt works good. It's all about precision. 
crack it on. When we uh, attach the lights here, then we'll do the wiring, one light to the other and then down to the source. Okay, light is on, not tightened down yet. But now we need to make a little hole here to put that wire through and make the connection. Just wait. Okay, light is on, mounted, but not tightened down. This is the electrical connection. Just so happens there's room between the top panel and this for this wire to go down here. And we'll just uh, zap tie it here and then it'll go across over here and make the connection. Oh, please send the pointing way up. <laughs> So we've made some connections here. Uh, we have a red live connected to uh, the little harness we made for the live that uh, also has an inline fuse that goes to the uh, relay, headlight relay in the fuse box. And it's connected from one side to the other for each light. We're going to do the same with the ground, um, which is right here not connected yet, but it is uh, connecting both lights from here to here. And um, these are all connected with uh, heat shrink connectors um, so that there's no moisture getting into the wires and that they last a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna put the ground together. Okay, lights are installed. And now we're going to check to make sure they are working.